Food and gas going to cost you more this Thanksgiving. And the aforementioned John Katsimatidis joins me now. You own Christidis, grocery store chain. Yes. You owe hundreds of gas stations all across the country. Uh, we have a report of lower inflation at the producer level this morning. Is that going to come through for consumers this Thanksgiving? Well, you're, you're calling me here because I'm in all those industries, yeah. including construction of real estate, including... And uh, this Thanksgiving, no change. The highest prices ever for turkeys, mm. the highest price ever for your, for your, your Thanksgiving dinner. Um, and uh, what happens? Construction. Because interest rates are going to the moon and construction has slowed slow down on new, on new buildings, on new uh, condos, on new homes. So what happens? This morning we get a phone call and we're negotiating, negotiating, negotiating. Some of our prices are starting to come down on some of our construction costs because they've got to sell it to somebody. Like what? Concrete? Concrete has come down, in one of our projects has come down as much as $4 million. What? Just for one project? One project. And the price is down? Down. Because construction has slowed and they've got to it's sell it to up. somebody. So, so, so Jay Powell has done his job. He's destroyed the real estate industry, <laughs> and he did, he's done a great job of destroying the real estate industry in, instead of Washington fixing the problem. And you get a price break on your concrete. <laughs> Lucky guy. OK, Governor Hokey, uh, Hochul, uh, Kathy Hochul, she won re-election uh, governor of New York. Is she going to do anything about crime? Because that's really hurting you, Christides, in New York City. Well, I pray for it. And, and, and two days ago, Eric Adams has come up with his own op-ed piece uh, saying, enough is enough. Let's take care of crime. And uh, when I met one-on-one -on -one with the governor, what I said to the governor was, look, I'm saying about who, for whom do the belts toll? Eight and a half million New Yorkers or 3,000 repeat violent criminals? Repeat violent criminals, What repeaters. did she say? What did she say? And, well, she says, trust me. Uh, and uh, uh, and the, the part that I really got upset about, uh, Stewart, is the, the fact that she had all the major Democratic uh, players out, uh, President Obama and Harris and all, everybody, and they all swore that the crime problem is a GOP conspiracy. Give me a break. Come on. I mean, how can you just say that? Is I your, mean, is, 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 is where's your the Kleenex? Is your shrinkage, uh, that's uh, that basically shoplifting, shrinkage, have you got a big number on shrinkage? The, the number is bigger than usual, but we hired... The, the expense is there because we hired more security, more retired NYPD uh, to prevent it, versus the national chains, they don't, they're not street fighters. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to deal with New York City. They don't know how to deal with the problem in New York City. I grew up on 135th Street, so I know how to do it. Yeah, you do. Uh, last one. Uh, you're a conservative guy, I believe. Yes. I think you don't up to that. Trump, probably going to come an announcement tonight running for the presidency. You with him or against him? I know Donald Trump for 40 years. Yep. And what, when he was president, he made... He did a lot of great things. Yep. A lot of great things. Uh, and, and he had the world, respect of world leaders. Yep. And my only concern is the way uh, he comes up with some of these things that he comes up with. Okay. You know, whether the Twitters... And whatever. Do you think we're but he, was the, he would go down in history as, as great as, as Ronald Reagan if he just kept to the, uh, 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 to, to the problems of the world versus creating problems with other candidates. John Katsimatidis, thank you very much for joining us, John. Stuart, thank you. I'm here for you anytime. You're a good man. I don't care what they say, John. Very much.